Texas Tech goes into its second season under coach Tommy Tuberville, and it's still a transition phase as he is trying to establish his brand of football and love it. Now the Red Raiders this season will probably be a lot more run pass oriented, and the defense should get a boost from new coordinator Chad Glasgow. One thing to watch for the Red Raiders this season, a lot of young players. They'll probably have about 16 sophomores and juniors in the starting lineup. Yeah, you know, when, when you take over a program and you're putting implementing all the things that you want to put in, it's like growing a tree. It's not going to, you can water it all you want, it ain't going to grow very fast. Same thing with a football team. You know, it's, it's, it takes months and years to recruit players for the position that you want. Over the last decade, quarterback has been a headline and record-setting position for the Red Raiders. Seth Dagey, who because of injuries in high school and Texas Tech's quarterback depth, has played in just one game since 2005, takes over as a starter. Pretty excited. I can't wait. You know, I think we've done a, we've had a good fall camp so far. Uh, we got a couple days left. We really need to, you know, uh, sharpen some things up. But overall, I'm really excited about this team. I'm excited about the opportunity. He's a true competitor. I mean, he goes out there and works hard every day. He's a film buff. He's always in there trying to learn as much as he can. He brings a sense of leadership because everyone wants to follow his competitiveness, and that's really just something that uh, he's kind of uh, really just excelled in throughout the summer and throughout camp and it, it really um, uplifts everybody else on the team to do the same thing. Well he's a, he's a coach's son, a uh, hard worker, he's a student of the game, you know I'd call him a gym rat. He, uh, he's really put in a lot of work and he's, he's, he's played some, you know a year ago in the spring uh, two guys that competed last year for the job, Taylor Potts and Steven Sheffield both got injured so he was and they got injured practice five and six we got to go through our system and as a starting quarterback for about nine practices then then he had all spring so we feel like he's got enough seasoning to go in and be able to produce in addition to a new quarterback texas tech must replace its top running back and top two wide receivers the offense should continue to evolve to an attack that is more balanced between running and passing you know i think we're going to give them the ball as much as we can and I, but we're still going to you know throw the ball a lot you know that's our that's our identity you know around here at texas tech so we throw the ball but at the same time uh the running game is really going to help us out the defense struggled last season allowing nearly 31 points and 456 yards in total offense per game new defensive coordinator chad glasgow will use a 4-2-5 alignment which is becoming popular around the big 12. he he coaches with tough love now he'll chew you out but when need be, he's going to pat you on the back. You know, he might be screaming and tell you you're doing good, but he's going to be telling you, you know, the things that, that are positive sometimes that you have to say. Well, I think we've gotten better with every day that we've come out here. We had the whole defense installed in the first four days, so we've gone back and got a chance to re-go over some things, and they're getting more repetitions at it. And naturally, the more reps they get doing the same thing, the better we're going to be. In addition to the new defensive scheme and intensity, Glasgow has coined a new motto for the defense. Uh, the motto is hunt together, it should be like a, a pack, you know what I mean? So it's like, Coach Glasgow also always talks about do your 111th and do your job. So it's like if all 11 guys on the field do their job, basically we're going to have a good defense, we're going to be successful. So basically we got to hunt together, so that means 11 guys flying to the ball each and every play, but we, we play for each other, don't play for ourselves. For Big12Sports.com, I'm Wendell Barnhouse.